to the Geek Group. I'm Chris Bowden, and you're not. I'm here today with... Paul Kidwell. And you, uh, you have a poignant shirt for the day. Oh, yes, yes. It's the 4th of July, so I'm wearing my Patriot shirt. I couldn't find my 4th of July shirt. You couldn't find it. We just moved. I can't find anything. But I've got okay. my 4th my of July shirt. Mm -hmm. It's got a Union Jack on it. Union Jack, yeah. naturally. I figured if you were wearing that, I'd have mine. You know, it would be a good thing. That would work. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what do we got today? We've got... Um, we have interesting little toys. Airbags? Airbags. Cool. These are knee airbags. And this is a steering wheel airbag. Which I, I labeled. Yes. Front toward enemy. It's, it's much more fun than the one that you had on there. Well, it's got inert plastered there, we'll, all over we'll a, everything. We'll give a close up there. Yes. All these are inert. Um, they're all painted. They have blue bits and you know, you can get a shot on that. Yeah, you should talk about the thing. I'm actually trying to open this up. Okay. Um, this here is the initiator. I'm port. trying to open this up without tearing it, which is kind of hard. Yeah, it's designed to rip to shreds, as, or that part is designed to rip well, to yeah, shreds. Yeah, but I don't want to mess it up. It's nice. You're, you're, doing, you're going about it the right way. I am a gentle and loving man, Mr. Kidwell. Yes. I'm a little ray of sunshine! You keep saying that. Ah, anyway, it's really on there. This is loaded with a chemical that, when ignited, generates a whole lot of gas very quickly. Well, gunpowder does that. I well, mean. this is what? Sodium azide, I think. I honestly don't know what they use. In I don't areas. remember. Anyhow, you this is all we're gonna crimped, get and, crimped and sealed, and there's a row of holes around the outside. There's a couple of initiation points. This is a two-stage airbag, so you get two different inflation levels. Ooh, that's a nice big one. This thing gets huge. Yeah, they do. You know what? This isn't the steering column one. That's the, the dashboard one. Yeah? Yeah. That's why, it's, that's why it gets so big. And that's why it's got two up plugs on it. Because they have a sensor in the passenger seat to see if you got an adult or a kid in there. Yeah, there's holes in it for the gas to be dissipated through. A rather odd pattern of holes, though. I'm certain somebody spent a lot oh, of time yeah, computer there's, modeling. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of work. And this part is held in the dash. And when it deploys, you see it's not a round bag. It does what they call vertical deploy. Meaning, if you ever see the high-speed shots in the commercials and whatnot, it'll go up to the window and then come down. Okay. Um, they originally had airbags for the driver, but they didn't have them for the passenger, and everybody was asking why. Um, parents used to have a habit of letting their kids sit in the car without their seat belts on. Okay. And kids being kids would do weird things like stand in front of the seat with their hands on the dash, right where the airbag would be. And it was launching kids out the back window? Or it something? was decapitating test dummies. Cool. So that's why it took so long to get passenger side airbags. And this is what they came up with. It goes up to the window and then comes down. So rather than blowing the kid's head off, it squishes them down into the seat, okay. which is, in theory, is better. better, I would imagine. But they still have a head. You know, they spend yeah, the rest of their it's, life it's like a bobblehead doll. It's still attached. But this is a, a, a Kevlar material. If you yeah, we've used these as uh, blast bags in yes. the lab for containing you know, desktop explosions and whatnot. I have no idea what this means. I have, I have no idea why the patterns are. Okay, there. that's our big airbag. What that's else we got? Big one. We got some here, one for you and one for me. Yay! These are knee airbags. They They're are down smaller. at the bottom of the dash, and there's one for the driver and one for the passenger. And when it opens up, it goes out sideways. Get a little smiley face! <laughs> Yay! There's mine's, like stuff mine's inside got it. Frowny face. Yes, that's. It's because you're upside down. Okay, Turn I'm that frown upside down, Mr. Tidwell. Okay, Ta -da! there's supposed to be a hole here just like on the other one, but I'm not seeing it. I got no hole, but there's like... Well, I got the thing loose on the inside. Crap, right? Yeah, we should open one up. Ooh, hang on, we might not have to. You got to, oh, yeah. Well, there if they go. got it in there, there's got to be a way to get it out of there, is my theory. Okay, hey, there it is. I got it. And you'll notice it's blue as well. And labeled inert. And labeled inert. There you go. There's another bag. And here's another He's gas generator. Now, this connector on the end 
It's Which some doofus cut the wire on, but I don't know who would do that. I did that. Okay, I have. Where's my, where's my Gerber tool? My Gerber. Do you put my Gerber? Where did you? What did you do with my Gerber tool? Yeah, you stole. And my and my and the other one. I didn't steal the other. one. I just took the Gerber. You can check. It was on the counter last I saw. What are you doing? Taking this off? I'm going to take the plug out. Oh, what is this thing on? I have no idea. Anyhow, I the, think that uh, gets really hot, and this keeps things from touching it directly. Could be. Anyhow, the plug has a little lock in it. The shorting bar. Yes. The the plug here has a shorting bar, so when you're sitting like this, it's shorted out. So you use a Gerber to do that, really? I don't have yes. my fingernails are a little. Yes. Anyhow. I'm a manly man. So it's shorted out, so you don't inadvertently get static and detonate the thing. And the other end of this harness would also have a shorting bar, so when you plug this in like that. You open the shorting bar here, but there's a shorting bar at the end of the next harness. And when you plug in there, there's another. It should theoretically it won't. be the same plug. It's, it's close. They're all the same plug, but ah, here there's we'll, different we'll get, key, there's different key. Let me get a close-up for people to see. There's a, if you look right there. Do not refill. I didn't know that was an option. You can see the key is different. That one has no key. This one has a little key. And this one here, which you really can't grip, this one has a slightly different key. It's really close to the one on the left, but yeah, this has a key on the right, and this one has a key on the left. So we, they're completely mutually exclusive. So. This is neat. I want to, I want to get like twenty of these and be able to just set them off. They're obtainable. They're just very expensive. Hearst alone. Do you know there was a guy on the forums who was talking about having trouble with at their they he was working in an auto wrecking yard and they had to actually get rid of these things. Yeah. They had to set them off to neutralize it's them. It's gotta be a horrible job. I don't know where he is, but if we could get somebody, I'm quite certain yeah. they wouldn't mind having somebody take them out for him. I'd but, be happy to. Yeah. We've we've got a fair bit of experience in handling these damn things. Yes, so. we've, we've, there's, a, there's a video. Fire and Love it, love it. Yeah, we've, yeah. we've done a little bit of video with airbags. It's nice to get some that we can like take apart and see how they work though. Yeah, well these, these don't have the chemical all over them now. Yeah, the ones, and the ones they're we not set smoking. Off, they're, and the ones we set off, they got the, the residue inside and they're all nasty. This has stuff inside it. It does. I imagine there's a powder there's in there. There's baffles and stuff. There's a lot, a lot of internal stuff that we can't get to without really butchering these. Yeah. Yes, there is. It was like a thing to keep Careful. you from pulling it apart. It be bulletproof. We'll get some duct tape. Some I'm not staples. gonna. We can test this. Let me get my gun. I'm, I'm not gonna let you test that. Although it would be interesting to take several layers of this and lay it over. No, no. You just you just hold it up. You hold it up like no, this. I've like an arm's length. Guy, I've seen the guy do the video on that, and of there what? is something. Called, there was a guy who took bulletproof material and held it like this and let somebody shoot him with a 22. Yeah. He was unaware of something called blunt force trauma. Yeah, knocked him stupid over. Stupid hurts. Yeah, stupid, stupid hurt a hurts. lot. It did, he didn't, it, it, the bullet didn't penetrate, but it didn't really matter all that much. But like this thing. is the one I like. I mean, it's nice and compact. Yeah, but, I'd like uh, a couple hundred of those. Mm -hmm. Not like you, you, without the inert sticker, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah. Big fun. So. so that's our look inside automotive airbags. Yeah. We've got knee bags and... And dash it's back. like this one here. You got holes around the yeah, edge. Yeah, these, the these vent out here. Out. These it's like, it looks like the chemical comes out this end, and yeah, that's there's what there's little holes. Oh, there little they holes. are. They're yeah. down inside there. And it has that's, a safety that's guard different. around it. So yeah. opening this thing up would not be a trivial task. We could do it. You want to try? We'd have to. Uh, we'd, we'd destroy we, one. We. I don't. I. I, think I don't know. It's. Look, I, we pretty, could get these off. Blue. They're blue. So, I mean, you don't want to mess them up. Yeah, because well, that's totally the killer. Well, no, you're all antsy about blue. I mean, everything's blue. It's my favorite color. Yes, but, I yeah. know. Well, but well, here you go. It's blue. It's, they're like welded shut. I mean, it's Yeah, a, I know. It's a deal. Yeah, it would not be a minor thing. These things aren't just screwed together. No. No, it's totally, yeah, it's, that's, that's, that's like hacksaw sealed. territory. And this, this, is, this is crimped. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's no way you get into these without, like, destructive experimentation. I'm going to break my Gerber before I get that in. 
So there's a good look at them. You guys have fun. I'm Chris Bowden with the Geek Group. We'll have more for you next time when we explore what's our next thing. What do you want to do next? I have no idea. We should do an equipment autopsy. We haven't Middle done one in like a while. A toaster. A toaster? A toaster. We will do a toaster. Nichrome wire. I got things to do with nichrome wire. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. We'll plug it in. After it's all apart, we'll plug it in. We'll get a nice glowy. We're going to play with fire! We'll be Bye. back. You guys have fun. I'm Chris. That's Paul. Bye-bye. See you next time.